property, the canyon off to the left. It all looks the same to me. Well, let's try it. This must be the place. Let's see if anyone's around. I think there is someone around. Looking for Mrs. Patricia Garner. What do you want with her? Well, I was in the army with her husband. Before he died, I promised to do something for him. Who are you? I'm Kit Carson. This is El Toro. Well, I'm Mrs. Patricia Garner. Is this the way you welcome all of you callers? They're strangers, yes. I don't hurt them none. I just knock their hats off. You'd be surprised to know how many don't even turn around and pick them up. This one just happened to be my size. What's his reason for the hobby of collecting hats? Well, they hear there's a woman up in this canyon with a rich silver strike, and they figure she'll be easy picking. I wish your husband could have known you struck it rich. Come on up to the house and tell me about Bill. I promised your husband I would see if there was anything I could do for you and your daughter. Well, I sure appreciate your coming. I'm sorry I can't offer you anything but a drink of water. That is, unless you'd like to stay for supper. Set yourself down. Who is your daughter? Way at school? I, I found her out. I had to, Mr. Carson. It was the only way. Bound, you don't mean tied up. No, Toro. Whenever parents can't afford to take care of a child, they have a legal right to bind them out to someone who can take good care of them. Your husband figured you were having rough going. Who'd you bind it to? Oh, well, some folks by the name of Raymond. They have a farm near mine. We came out to California about the same time, uh, long before there were any Americans around. I think I'll go water the horse's kit. Uh, the trough's around the back. Gracias. Now that you've struck it rich, I suppose you'll get your daughter back. Well, I tried to a few days ago, but Kathy was away visiting, and the Raymond said there'd be no deal unless Kathy was there. Then you've nothing to worry about. I don't know. I don't think the Raymonds mean to give her up. I believe she was right there the day I called. They're up to something. I could tell the way they acted. All right, we'll get it back for you. Write her a letter and tell her who we are. Sure, we'll be glad to get my little girl back. There's a cabin down there. All right, come on. I was only to bring you here. That was the deal. Wouldn't be a little yellow, would you, Raymond? Quiet. Mrs. Garner. Drop it.
I'm the outlaw. Get up. Anybody's got a right up there. They're not to shoot up the place. I yelled at her that I was coming past. She came out with a rifle. I only wanted to scare her. I lost the other one. That woman's crazy. She thinks anybody that goes near that claim's a bandit. What were you doing up there? Well, we were going prospecting. Up above her diggings. You don't look like a prospector to me. Is there any law that says how a prospector's got the dress? Now, get out of here. Stay away from the Garner claim. Who's telling me to? The name is Carson. Senor, there's something I feel you should know for your own concern. The first name is Kit. Expecting trouble? Since they found gold, a man don't know what to expect. What do you want? Is your name Raymond? That's right. We got a letter from Kathy Garner from her mother. Oh? Well, I'll give it to her. If we want to see her. Well, do you now? Suppose she doesn't want to see you. Well, in that case, you got yourself a couple of permanent lodges, because we're not leaving here until we do see her. What's your interest in Kathy? I think I look around, kid. Go ahead, Torres. Stay right where you are. I don't like strangers prowling around my farm. I guess I look around, eh, Senor Raymond? Now, do we see Kathy? Well, it won't do you no good. Now, little more milk, dear. My goodness, Tom, don't you know better than to bring company into the kitchen? I want to see Kathy. Well, speak up, child. Make us acquainted with your friend. I never saw him before. I'm Kit Carson, an old friend of your father's. I don't remember him. I've got a letter for you, Kathy. Tell her I'm not going. It's from Ma. She, she wants me to leave you. It's up to you, Kathy. You're welcome to go or welcome to stay. Don't you love your mother, Kathy? Why should I? She bound me out, didn't she? She had to. She wasn't able to take care of you. It's just an excuse. She loves you very much, Kathy. She's been working like a man on that silver mine. Now that she's struck it rich, she wants you back. Send you to a nice school. I don't want to hear any more about it. Leave me alone. Get out of here. I told you how it would be, Mr. Carson. You tell Mrs. Garner not to keep bothering the child. She gets awful upset. Mrs. Garner gave me the $200 you paid. Well, that girl's love is worth more than $200. She's been like a daughter to us. If you loved her that much, you'd think of her welfare. You know she'd be better off going to a good school. I'll not send Kathy away. That's our final word. Well, I'll go back and tell her mother. Good day. Kathy was trying to hide this on my saddle. What'd she say? Not a word. She just gave me this paper and ran back indoors. Strange. It's the letter from her mother. Wait a minute. Something on the back. Be in front of the bank and snore at 2 o'clock tomorrow. Kathy, or sometimes called Kitty. Kitty? Must be a nickname. If Kathy was acting, she did a pretty good job. Maybe we better do as she said. That's something else I discovered. Your friend, Senor Raymond, has a farm that is not a farm. What do you mean? No crops, no cattle, no chickens, nothing at all. I think Senor Raymond must be retired. Let's get on into town. I don't think she'll show up now. So impatient, kid. I've often waited two hours for a senorita. More for a beautiful one. I'm afraid Raymond's kept her from meeting us. Well, let's walk around the town. Perhaps if we come back later, she'll be here. All right.
You ever hear of her, Kate? You want to stay here or go back to Raymond's farm? Kitty. Kitty. It's the same name as on a note. You mean that's Kathy? I wonder. Let's go in and find out. Good afternoon. We'd like a couple of rooms. Uh, one room with two beds? Good enough. How long will you be here? Just tonight. Oh, Where do you come from? Sacramento. Sonora looks like a lively little town. What about this kitty killed there? Look it. Here she is. Bella. Bellissima. Maybe you're right, Toro. A very beautiful senorita. Oh, very beautiful and very young. Much too young for you. Oh, I'm sure that her beauty cannot compare to yours. How old is this singer? Sixteen. Pretty rough town for a young girl like that. If any man were to harm her, the, these miners would tear him to pieces. They worship her. They throw pieces of gold at her feet every night. She must be a great singer. She sings the old American songs the miners heard at their mother's knee. They listen, they weep, they shower her with gold. Where does she come from? The streets of the mining camp. I said you couldn't go out this afternoon. So now you're trying to run away. Well, I, I thought I'd go and see my mother. Just for a short visit. Well, you can pack the rest of your things. Go ahead, I mean it. Pack everything you've got. We're heading for San Francisco. You're ready for something bigger than a mining town now. And we're gonna make a killing. And no more talk about your mother or running away. We're getting married as soon as we reach San Francisco. This fellow says you sent for him. Sure. Come on in, Raymond. Carson's going to your farm. He's got me a little worried. What do you figure we should do about it? He's... He's taking me to San Francisco. Wait a minute. No, no, don't get excited. I've got a little going away present for you and your good wife. Oh, that's very good of you, Maples. It's a pleasure. Uh, use the back way as usual going out. And good luck. Well, good luck to you, and congratulations to you both. Take care of him. The money's yours. We'll have to see the show tonight, Tom. Be very careful. You are strangers here. Do not try to speak to her. Do not show too much interest in her. She must cost you a lot of money if she's as popular as all that. Oh, she cost me nothing. I rent the theater. Who's the manager? I am, Carson. I understand you had a talk with the Raymonds. This is your second big mistake. Boys, these are a couple of fake law officers from Sacramento that have come to take thee away.
Nobody followed us. Labels just wanted to get us out of town. And I got a strong feeling it's the best place for us, too. Look, Toro. Fresh tracks made by a crawling body. Blood. And it's not dry. I've got a hunch this ties in with Maples and Kathy. But why? I can't say for sure yet. But I think Maples is the killer and Kathy is his captive. How do we get her out? Let's go back to the hotel. The coast clear? I hope so. I'll wait here for your signal. So beautiful with surprise on your face. You should always wear it. You fool! Why did you come back here? Well, I, uh, I left in such a haze that I forget to say adios. I even forget to ask your name. Maria Gonzalez. Maria. Such a beautiful name. You had better leave here. And quickly. But your beauty pierces my heart like the blade of a sword. Uh, tell me, my darling, does that girl who caused all the trouble, does she live here in the hotel? Well, it's not for myself that I ask about her, but for a friend. You and you alone fill my heart. That is better. Yes, she does. Did you say? She dresses there for her act. Ah, uh, then uh, uh, perhaps I might borrow the key? Perhaps. We're leaving right now. Mac will pick up the bags later and meet us at the junction. But you said... I said we're leaving right now.
Now look, ain't the key to room 12. Mabel's just left with Kathy. Come on. No. Oh, how can I ever begin to thank you? Toro, I'll take the team and you take my horse. And better yet, you take the wagon, I'll take your horse. Where do I go? I'm gonna take Kathy back to see your mother. And don't go through Sonora. Si, senor. Two ladies. Sacramento. Who shoot the claim jumpers while you're away? Oh, they can have what's left. With what I've got in our suitcase here, we won't need to work anymore. What about bandidos? Don't worry. I'll be right behind you. Mm -hmm. 